Hello my loves, I hope everybody is doing well. I have a food haul and it's a strange food haul. There's some stuff in here I'm not quite sure about. There's some stuff that's funky but I love it, okay? So I have some stuff from Trader Joe's which is normal and not strange. But I went to the Asian market and there's where you get some really cool stuff. So here we go. Okay, so I am going to start with this Asian haul and I'm going to show you the stuff that I got Asian haul. It doesn't even sound right. It was the Asian market. Yeah. That's, I don't know. So here I got some Thai coconut rolls. These look really good. I don't know. I've never had them before. A lot of this stuff is new to me. So I don't know. It's made with coconut milk, tapioca starch, and sugar, sesame, taro, and salt. So they're like little rolls. Coconut rolls. Yum. And then this is Araki, just like some crazy food. So we got crispy fish rolls. And I mean, it's they're non-fried it's not crazy food but he likes fish things i'm not into fish i like fish but not like this and so i don't know this is just some lizard fish red mullet and sugar and some other stuff and like squid there you go you can check out what he eats there's a lot of protein in it i'm not eating that but what i am eating are these pocky sticks oh my goodness the chocolate banana they had the, the what is it like cookie dough no not cookie dough cookie cream cookie and cream i think it was but I got chocolate and banana. And then these also I could not resist. They look so good. So they're like, kind of like, I guess potato chips, but they're made out of the taro. Is that how you say it? Taro? I think so. I don't know. So I got some of these. What they're called? I'm not really sure. Kadena. Kadena. Happy is yummy taro chips. So I am excited to try these. We should be trying all this on camera. That would be interesting, like especially for these. Look at what he got. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. They're worms, though. That's what they are. They're worms. Silkworms. That's what, the, yeah, worms. So we got some silkworms. <laughs> and we got some snails. I love snails. I'm French, so just, this is like, brings me back to my childhood. With red sauce and snails in a big bowl. Yeah, I know. But just yum. And this is only $2.99. It's like a crap load of snails. <laughs> Gotta throw that in the freezer. Keep that frozen. And then this, I love honeydew, anything honeydew. So we got some honeydew puddings. So these look really yummy too. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they're made with mostly, there is dairy in here, so like my daughter can't have it, but they're made with coconut milk. What else do we have? Oh, I love tea and I love green tea, Chinese green tea, love it. So yeah, China green tea in this big tin. This thing was like under $3 and it's a giant like tin of tea, loose tea curious to open it. I want to smell it. I'm going to have to make like a big tub of iced tea. So I'm going to probably boil some water. It's funny because for the longest time I wanted a teapot. And I was like, Eric, buy me a teapot. I need a teapot to make tea because I kept making tea and like using like a pan, like a pot. And I was so afraid I'm going to burn myself. As soon as he buys me a tea kettle, I don't make tea anymore. Makes no sense. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, they're bags. They're not, is it loose or is it a bag? Oh no, it's a big bag. I thought it was loose tea. Let's see. So it opens like that. You guys are probably like, I don't really care. We've all seen tea before, but yeah, it is. Mmm, it smells so good. Oh my goodness. I love Chinese tea. I love the Chinese green tea. There's a unique flavor to it. And I love this tin. So, yep. I couldn't have done that again if I tried. Another really cool thing. I can get these bags away from me. They're like static cling to me. Look at it. It's a dragon fruit. I have never had I have never had a fresh dragon fruit, so I'm telling you, I think we, we how cool would it be just to see us trying all this stuff? It's normal to some, but to us this is not normal stuff I see. Although I love it though. I got a humongous thing of sweet and sour sauce. This is, yes, looks so good. So basically like pineapple and tomato. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I think I'm going to make, maybe that would be good with fish. Maybe with chicken. And then the last thing I got, yeah, this is the last thing from the Asian market, is this big giant tin, it's huge, of pineapple cookies. So those are the pineapple cookies. My daughter is crazy for anything pineapple. So pineapple biscuits, they're just like, they're so cute. And yeah, 
So we got a big old tub of pineapple biscuits. Get away from me, bag. Now we are on to mostly Trader Joe's. So we went to a hockey game today and outside the hockey game they were selling girls. Okay, loves, hopefully I can get this video done before my battery dies for good because it just died again. So I'm going to quickly do the Trader Joe's haul. Like I said, we went to a hockey game. I don't know if you got that. And they were selling some Girl Scout cookies. So two things of Thin Mints because they are dairy-free. And then for myself, some Savannah Smiles because mm, they're so good. Trader Joe's, I got my Edinami crackers. I love these. Gluten-free. Very good. And Edinami hummus. I didn't get the beet one because I still have some in the fridge. But this one's really good too. Oh my goodness, I bought this last time and I'm buying it again. The cookie butter cheesecake bites. They're so good. One bite, um, one little cube is 90 calories. So that fulfills my need for something sweet. These also, this is the first time I tried it was last time. And it's like a fruit bar with flax seed and chia, chia seed. And these are so good. They taste like a fruit snack on steroids. Like they are so good. So I got three of those. And then I just got some of these apple banana fruit snacks. My daughter loves them. I love them too. And I got apple strawberry. So those are, I got two of each. I got some daffodils. These are $1.50. So every time I go there, I buy flowers because for $1.50, there's no reason why you can't buy yourself flowers. And they're so pretty to watch them bloom. I really like that. And then we usually get the cherry, chocolate cherry ice cream, but they didn't have it. So we got some vegan little non-dairy mini vanilla sandwiches. Yum. What else? Some gluten-free pretzels. These are really, really good. Highly recommend. My battery's about to die. <laughs> um, highly recommend those. And then they're gluten-free bread. This one, I haven't tried the other one, but this one is so good. I toast it, and it kind of tastes like a sourdough, a little bit of a sourdough, but it's like a mix between sourdough and like French or Italian bread. It's really good, though. For gluten-free, this is probably one of the best ones that I've ever had. And so I think that that's all the stuff. Yeah, that's it. That's all the stuff that I got from Trader Joe's and then some of my fun finds that I got at the Asian market, which I need to go back there and get some more stuff. I'm dying to try green tea Kit Kats. Like, I'm dying to try them, but I can't find them anywhere. There's another Asian market right down the road from that one. I'm going to go there next time. So I hope you enjoyed the sporadic and cut-off haul. Hope it doesn't bother you that it was cut off and a little change of scenery here, but lots of change of scenery. Not really, just changing me. I've been, like, freaking out for the past 10 minutes looking for my memory card, battery dying, dog getting sick. Yeah, so I get home and try to make a haul, and I'm like, this shit ain't working, but I did it. I did it. I achieved. I achieved it. So, lots of love. Please subscribe if you're not, and I hope you enjoyed this again. Repeat myself a lot. <laughs> Sayonara.